Hello, Minecraft uh, what peoples, I guess. Today we're go well, not today. I mean, this is gonna be a one year special. I what I mean by that is is that this is gonna be a one year Minecraft's world where I'm going to be playing for a year, and you're gonna see it like hundred days series by Luke Notable. But it's gonna be a year because I feel like saying hundred days is cheating. So in the first day, we started punching down trees and started working on our house. While I was wandering around the tiger form, I found a nice little cave, and I knew I needed some stone to build some nice tools so I could keep build surviving, because that's my main goal for this survival world. As I crested this hill, I found a beautiful little lake, and I decided this is where I'll build my home. Not only was there food, not only was this a nice place to start, I also saw a lot of fish in this lake, and I thought, wow, what a really great source of early game food. So I didn't have a sword, but I started to smack him with my pickaxe. I'm not mining yet, but I think this is close. As you can see, I started working on my house, and I needed some tools. And so I decided to make an axe, a sword, and all the main tools that you need to start out on Minecraft World. I was trying to keep my hotbar nice and orderly so I wouldn't have to mess it, so it wouldn't mess up later, but as you can see, I needed more sticks. And I had to check the date, what time it was, because I was worried I could die. So, as you can see here, we're making our tools and our shovel. This is my favorite way to make these tools, because I like having it so I only have to click twice, instead of rebuilt setting up the crafting gear. And I ate my fish. My delicious, delicious fish. And saw so there was more fish in there, and decided to actually use the thing they intended to use as a weapon. I started smacking them with my sword. Now, I am very cautious about not drowning, so I have it's very hard to kill these fish. Uh, I think it should be an achievement. I think tactical fishing should be killing a fish with the sword. But, what, why are you gonna... As you can see here, I'm starting to also chop down some trees. I really need this wood for my house, as you could probably see when I'm in the shack. The cute little shack that I'm gonna be calling home until I figure out how to build a better one. And you can see it there. I really like using logs for my wall, for the corners of my builds. And it's kind of expensive for early game, especially since it's just my first day. And I probably could be doing something else right now, like mining. But, no, I I'm chopping trees, as you can see. And now I'm working on the farm. But first, I need to make this area smart, the right size for a farm. So this farm will probably not keep me well fed because farming in Minecraft is... I, you, If you make it big enough, it does give you food, but early game farms on the riverbed barely keep you alive. So I'm going to be eating fish for a long time coming. As you can see, it's getting dark and I need to finish my roof, otherwise <laughs> I'll be dead. So I finished my roof with a nice, plain, simple one. because. Truth be told, I'm not going to worry about how pretty it looks on the first day. I think I am smelting some glass in there. Well, I don't know. Oh, I guess not. Yeah, I did do that. That was pretty stupid of me. I like to play with the subtitles on, mostly because it allows me to know when lava's nearby. So I mined into this cave, and oh, oh my god, diamonds, no way! Oh my god, I was incredibly lucky to find diamonds on my first day in Minecraft. It's absolutely insane that I was this lucky. Now, I actually don't have a single iron tool. This happens to me every single time I play Minecraft, where I make either a whole bunch of stone tools, or I find diamonds before I have iron, so I only use it like once. Now. Here's a good tip for those new players. Oh my god, I forgot about that. 
This was terrifying. I my heart was racing so fast. I was so worried I wouldn't even be able to touch, see touch those diamonds. They'd always be uh, never they'd never be mine. But luckily, you know, I did it. And uh, I'd actually decide to block it up because I'm a coward and I understood that it would be safer if I did that. And I decided to like this up because I mean, who knows? There could be more diamonds. So yeah. So after that iron smelt, I decided to mine those diamonds because I mean, what else am I gonna do with my time? It was. Amazing luck to find that many diamonds on my first day. Now, normally when I play, I might make a diamond pickaxe, but I understood that it'd probably be safer for me to buy a diamond sword because then I could fight mobs more effectively. So I'm just gonna, so that's what you're gonna see later. So I decided to mine a basement because I had nothing else to do with my time. So I kept mining, and I, I guess I wanted to know if something was going on. So I'll catch up to you in a second. Here I do something a little cocky. It's still a little dark outside, but I decide, you know what would be a great idea? Going out with some bone meal and bone meal in my crops. See, one of the best ways to actually bone meal your crops is not to bone meal one crop to the max. Try to bone meal each of the each of them at least just once, because it gets them pretty close to the top. So I, I'm just peacefully farming, and a zombie just comes out of nowhere. I should have expected it because it was still night, so I had to beat that zombie with my sword, and well. Seemed to work out in the end, didn't it? Okay, what is this? Why is there a trident drown in the water where I'm trying to chop trees? Now, what are the chances that a trident drown spawns in a, in a small little pond in the middle of an island, and then, I mean, it has a trident? I, this is just not right. It's just not fair. I was convinced I was going to die here. I was so scared. I actually was chopping trees earlier, but I and I ran back to the house and crafted that shield just to get rid of this zombie. But I was terrified out of my wits. But in the end, I destroyed him and didn't get a trident for all my hard work. All I got was a bunch of rotten flesh, which I hate because I respect everything I get. More basement mining on day two, because I have nothing else to do with my time. On the morning of day three, I was listening to my door and hearing a knocking on my door. And it turned out to be a drown. I quickly dispatched the monster with my beautiful trusty sword. And then he decided to try to escape, but there was no chance for the drown. <laughs> Lots of mining on day three, because I really wanted to expand my farming area, so I decided to just Chop off this part of the mountain. Well, not mountain. This tiny little pathetic hill stood no match for my iron shovel. Again with the mining, because every night I really like to go out and mine, because I really want more diamonds, as diamonds are God, and I yeah, and I need them. But for some reason, I decided to just look up straight, and now I'm in the mines. I won't find any diamonds this night. Finally coming out of the mines, because I am tired of nearly dying. Yes, I nearly died like 30 times down there. And I even got a music disc. That, that, that's how horrifying it was. That's how many monsters there were. I, I was subsisting off like rotten flesh and like stone pickaxes. It's, it was crazy. And as you can see, the basements are looking amazing. Absolutely amazing, just saying. They're, they're, they're enormous rooms. And I decided to, <laughs> and I go back down here where I some, some have all this furnace fuel and a bunch of stone.
Uh, morning. Finally, I can go out and harvest my sugar cane. So I, um, I'm just trying to expand the farm at the moment. I'm not trying to get paper for an enchanting setup. I would still need obsidian for that, and there's no way I'm getting that unless I found a village. And as you can see here, this zombie protested my farming. I don't understand why. It involves less animal death. Out exploring on day five, actually. I've survived five days in hardcore Minecraft. As you can see, I do something really stupid. I'm going into a cave underwater. It's full of lava, and it's like, what am I doing here? Why am I here? Who is here? And uh, this is um, just stupid, it's cocky, and I, probably, and I shouldn't be doing it. So, you know, there's that, but I do make it up, and back in my boat, and I don't get killed. So, yeah, I mean, that worked out. And also, still no sheep. Seriously, I can't see sheep, and I, I thought those two birch trees were sheep, they're not. Fun fact, birch trees aren't sheep. But, I keep exploring because, gosh darn it, I'm getting a bed today! So, there's another island coming into view, and we're gonna pray that it's a sheep. Please say there's a sheep. There is- I, I don't think there was a sheep. There w the sheep was in my mind. There is never- Still on day five, and thank god I found some sheep! I'm just telling you, these felt like diamonds. I mean, uh, that means I can sleep through the night, which means this is a less boring process. Uh, die! She die! <laughs> home safely with my wool secured in my inventory and the first thing i did was make a bed i mean i had to grab some wood because i'm stupid i actually put the wood back but we're not going to talk about that so i made my bed out of a combination of spruce and oak wood so i placed my bed in my basement oh not that basement this basement where i keep my valuables <laughs> as you can see i was pretty darn excited i'm having a it looks like i'm having a seizure and so I decided to go down and cook some of that delicious, delicious mutton. I'm excited to switch my diet from fish to, to, to whatever they're called. Oh, yes. Sheep. Delicious, delicious sheep. And I had a smoker, but for some reason I decided to put most of the wool, the most of the, the freaking mutton in this furnace. 